Hey guys, I'm back with the uh, Walker 150 rodeo. I took it out for its first flight today, and I'll tell you one thing: this thing is crazy. Um, I did. I had it in stability mode, and uh, wow, uh, the speed, the punch, the agility out of this thing is unbelievable. I did take the rubber cap, I didn't pull it off, I just bent it back and stuck a bit of black tape there, to let the heat out, but it was quite a chilly night tonight, uh, I didn't have time to fly it during the day, uh, it never really heated up, um, I just, the camera is really horrible, like I said in my last video, that will need to come out ASAP. Um, and I need to get the right uh, angle for the camera when I'm flying. Uh, where I fly, there's just too many telephone wires. If I don't get the right camera angle, then uh, I'm going to be screwed, which I was a little bit tonight. I hit um, telephone wire straight off the bat. Then hit the telephone wire again, uh, decided to do a bit of line of sight flying, which was a bit easier. I'll wait until tomorrow, well I can't, it's going to be raining tomorrow maybe again. Um, it took me a wee while to get used to this little thing, it's, it's just so responsive. Uh, maybe a wee bit of it will might help. All you need to do is touch the sticks and it just like turbo boost for a two cell. It is crazy. Between this and the Blade Industrix 200, uh, there's no comparisons. This will blow away. The speed, the agility, the maneuverability. It's just amazing. It's apart from the camera, which is just yucky. And the antenna, what I replaced anyway. Um, I would really recommend this over the uh, Bleeding Duck uh 200. And I am kind of a Blade fan. I've uh, always had Blade micro helicopters and quadcopters, but this little thing, I tell you, it does beat the Bleeding Duck 200. For what it's worth, I have done uh, two videos. They're not very good. I'll do more and better ones. Uh, so until then, um, I hope you keep watching my videos. And uh, I'll catch you later.